So we signed a couple more undrafted free agents. And one of them includes a tight end. We now have 74 tight ends on the roster. Let's get right into it. So starting off right away, guys, I looked at this list last night. And while I absolutely man crush over the fact that we took the best punter in the NFL draft and signed him to our roster. And I'm happy for that competition for, you know, Brad Robbins. We also signed three more players since last night. The three players including Indiana State tight end Cam Grandy. Now, who is Cam Grandy? Well, um, he played last year. Yeah, no, that's really it. That's really it. Um, let's talk about him. So, Cam Grandy's the first player we picked up. And again, yes, he did play at a couple of different areas. He played for the Missouri. By the way, he does have a mustache. Just a little side note here. He played for Missouri, and he played for two seasons there where he really wasn't in anything. Like, at the end of the day, he tried three seasons there. He's 65 yards, 251 yards, 275 yards. You might say, oh, is he like a, a blocker or something? Like, is he a blocking guy? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He just never really played much. I mean, he played games, but he never really did anything in those set games. I mean, he had receptions. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to, like, employ trash on the guy. Like, he had receptions. But you're going to see how much better he did last season once he, he left Missouri. So, 6 reception, 20 reception, 31. So, 57 receptions in a total of 3 years, 601 yards, and 6 touchdowns. Now, what did he do last year when he went to Illinois State? Well, that's when he actually showed off. He had 612 yards, which is more yards than he had in three seasons at Missouri in just one year. He also added weight to him. He went from 240 to 260. He's six foot five as well. Um, he had more receptions, triple the receptions he had. No, sorry, not triple. He had like 10 more receptions in one year than he had the whole entire career over there at Missouri. So he really just bettered himself and bettered his career. And he is a good vertical threat tight end. So that's our first guy right here. That man right there. Next guy we picked up is Lance Robinson, defensive back slash safety. Now, Robinson started his career with the Kansas City State. Or Kansas State, not Kansas City. Kansas State, which is a Big 12 team. He played there for three years, but never really saw the field or could get on the field, which was his biggest problem. So he transferred in 2021 over to um, Tulane and played there for three seasons before now. Now, you might say, how old is he? Because if he... 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. He's a little bit older. Not not too crazy, though. That's college. That's not NFL, obviously. Um, it doesn't say his age. Which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, Yeah, let's see how old he is. I actually don't know how old he is. I did not look up his age. Now, looking back at it, let's just see. Age... He is, is there anything about him? Age? Hold up. Is it not going to tell me his age? I, okay, apparently he is an age that we don't know. I'm going to guess he's like 23, 24, right? He has to be. There's no way. There, there's literally nothing about his age. That's not even him. So... I'm not sure. Let's see uh, this one. Maybe it'll tell us his age. Usually ESPN always says the age. Birthplace. But it doesn't say birth date or anything like that. Here's what I'm thinking, right? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm going to guess he's 24. He's probably not that old. Next guy we picked up slash signed is going to be an offensive tackle. And that's Eric Miller. Now, Eric Miller played for four years at um, Purdue, and then he went to uh, Louisville. Well, he played three years at Purdue and one year at Louisville. He's 6'7", 305 pounds, and this is his um, stats. 
Which again, for an offensive guard, it's not really saying much. But the two years of Purdue, he couldn't. He wasn't a starter, and then he finally became the starter in his third season, and then left to go to Louisville. And obviously, the rest is history. And now he's on the Cincinnati Bengals. So these are all the players that we signed. Again, the best punter in the NCAA the last four years. We signed a linebacker. We signed a strong safety in Michael Dole. We uh, signed Eric Miller. Um, running back, Elijah Collins, Lance Robinson, Cam Grandy, um, Cole Burgess, Justin, defensive end. Uh, we signed a safety again in PJ Jules, Sam, wide receiver, Aaron Casey, and running and quarterback, Rocky Lombardi. That's a pretty good name, actually, to be honest. But here's another guy that a lot of people are talking about, and that is Elijah, because there's a lot of good talk about him. He's six foot one, 225 pounds. He played for a total of five seasons at Michigan State. Not Michigan, Michigan State, before transferring over to Oklahoma State, where he didn't really do anything last year with them. Only 142 yards on the ground. But this is why people are excited. Receiving 99 yards, not really receiving back. But a, th a 988 rushing yards in his second year at Michigan State. Now, you can see he had 222 attempts. And after that, he never really got the attempts up again. And he also played less games. But that's why people are excited. Because when he does run, he's actually really good. And he looks really good when he's running. So, a lot of people are excited for that said reason. So, he's another player that a lot of people are excited about right now. Um, but we're going to see again. How good our boy Cam Grandy can be because we are now locked up and when it comes to the amount of <laughs> the amount of uh, tight ends we have on this roster. But keep in mind, it's a it's a ninety man roster, right? It's a ninety man roster right now. But so right now we have Mike two, three, four, five, and we just signed another one. So we have six. Six freaking um, tight ends. That is insanity. Hey, let's get it, man. The more tight ends, the better, right? Last year, we refused to take a tight end. Last year, you couldn't catch us dead taking a tight end. This year, we have more tight ends than anything else on this team. We are now just the tight end team. That's, that's our purpose in life. Is to take tight ends and have them on our team. You are you can't say, wait, hold up. Okay, that was quarterback. I don't know why. I thought that was wide receiver at first at the top. You can't say we don't have a tight end. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.